Seated in their branded aprons, these trainees are ready for their first session of the day. Lesson one, the bedroom. Everything from airing out the mattress, changing the sheets, is covered. The students listen and watch intently as the instructor takes them through the steps. This is one of the services offered here at the East African Institute of Home Care Management that is the brainchild of this woman, Edith Kanyungi. It all started with just three women from Kibera who first trained in her home back in 2001. So I trained these young women and to be very honest, I could see the satisfaction and the confidence in them, you know, and their self-esteem rise. And this was really, really encouraging to me as a trainer. 18 years on, and the institute has trained 5,000 women. The training program is comprehensive. Uh, we are very, very fortunate right now that we have a curriculum uh, from the National Industrial Training Authority, uh, which they have developed uh, in conjunction with the National Employment Authority. So we are implementing this curriculum and we are training them for two weeks. So. The curriculum is in two parts. So like we have the technical areas which cover housekeeping, childcare, uh, kitchen and uh, uh, catering. And then we have the laundry work, we have the home nursing, and then we have uh, complementary areas like uh, the pre-departure training. The pre-departure is to give them important information that they require as they travel and as they settle in their different countries of work. Currently, 250 women are enrolled in the program. Many are mothers and often have their children in tow, ensuring they don't miss a session. You may find that one domestic worker is supporting a whole household of even sometimes 10 people. So we feel that uh, <clears throat> it is important that they have this financial literacy and so they can learn how to save and how to even invest. Most of the women are referred to the institute for training by their employers, while others come on their own volition to get necessary training. Edith says she is fulfilled when she sees women come through the institute and use the skills they gain to go beyond the home and realize their potential in other areas. We have someone working in a bank somewhere, someone who went through this program. So we do have a lot of people who have gone through this program and are highly successful, and some are even teachers anyway. I know somebody who is a nurse somewhere. <laughs> so if people are properly prepared in this setup and they understand the work, then it means they can go forth out there and there's no limit as to what they can become and that is what has happened and she hopes to continue to be that platform for other women to achieve their dreams